games is you got so much time to maybe think that you got to do a bunch of different stuff. And so sometimes you diverge away from what got you here. And, uh, you know, we have to continue to be who we are as a defense. Um, obviously, there's going to be some wrinkles here and there that, that you show. But in a, you know, 70 to, to 90, you know, hopefully not 90, but plays in a game, you know, there's only so much you can really change. Um, it's going to come down to fundamentals and technique, in my opinion, that and just sheer toughness. Both teams are going to want it. Both teams are, are physical. And, uh, you know, it's we've got to do a great job with the wrinkles that we have of, of not diverging away from tackling properly and running the football. So, anyway. Coach, when there's two receivers out, like there was for Ohio State, you mentioned other talent coming in, but not as much film of those guys. How do you prepare for receivers that you haven't seen as much? Well, I think you just have to go with, you know, what are their past concepts? You know, what do they do? What shows up every game? You know, what are their go-tos? Bottom line. Um, you know, we do run some, you know, uh, man coverage, quite a bit of man coverage, man pressure. And so, you know, the film that you do have, you just kind of have to, have to get a feel for what's their strength. Uh, how do we defend them? How do they how do they handle press coverage? Uh, there's just certain things there that, that you try and key in on. Otherwise, it's all about who they are as an offense. They're going to have their wrinkles. They're going to have stuff that we haven't seen before, right? And so it's just adjusting on the fly. Morgan, how big was it for you guys as a program when you guys were able able to flip Clark Phillips from Ohio State over to Utah? Well, I think any anytime you can get, um, you know, the quality of talent that, that Clark provides into your program, it's, it's, you know, it's a great victory, right? But at the same time, um, it's an in, recruiting is an inexact science. Sometimes you got a guy that, hey, he's a highly rated guy, he comes in and he t takes a little bit of time to develop, right? Uh, some guys are big time surprises, right? Some guys come in and, you know, Cole Bishop's one of those guys for us, our, our uh, strong safety. Came in, uh, we were excited about his film, but if you were to say he's going to come in and he's going to be a year one starter, uh, being a mid, you know, mid year transfer, true freshman, you're like, wow, all right, awesome. So it's an inexact science, but that young man is unbelievable. You know, some freshmen come in and they're, they just kind of sit there and try and follow the crowd. And, you know, he came in with a purpose. Uh, he wanted to start. He wanted to play right away. He's always in the film room. Um, he's his own man. Uh, and I love that. Do you think it, you know, sends a message to other recruits when a guy of his caliber flips from a program like Ohio State to Utah that, hey, I mean, Utah is a place that you guys should consider? Well, it definitely puts Utah in a position where, where people will start asking those questions, right? Jalen Johnson was, a, was another one of those guys for us. A highly recruited kid out of California, playing with the Bears right now as a, as a starter at the corner spot. Um, but usually the young men that are serious about it and ask the questions and come visit Salt Lake City end up loving it. Number two, Chris Olave opted out for Ohio State, yet he's out there still practicing with the team. Would you be I know you say you prepare for concepts and things as much as personnel. Would you be shocked if, if Chris Olave took a snap? I don't get shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare for everything, you know. And uh, he's a very talented athlete. We recruited Chris out of high school. Um, unbelievable talent. And the fact that he's out there just is, again, it's a testament to He's a football player, right? He, he's, he's out there. He's try, still trying to get better. And uh, wish him nothing but the best.